In terms of the challenges of co-production, I'd say absolutely it's the fact that academic systems and structures are not set up for co-production. So in a lot of the projects that I work with where they're genuinely co-produced, so for example, very recently, I was trying to apply for some funding to do a project in collaboration with a group of special schools that I work with. It was a project that the head teachers of the schools had come up with. We designed it together and I wanted to apply for funding collaboratively. But often when you're applying for funding, it has to be through an academic institution. So the power automatically goes to the academic, even though the whole principle of co-production is about sharing power. We also have lots of smaller issues in relation to trying to meaningfully pay people for their involvement in research. Sometimes it can be really, really difficult to be able just to pay someone a small fee for their involvement in your project. It's loads of paperwork, it's loads of admin, it's loads of red tape. And I think that aspect can be really frustrating. And one of my hopes for co-production and for the centre is that it really starts to bring about a sea change in the way that people can be involved and that the process becomes much more simple and more streamlined because I really fear that if we keep putting these barriers up, it's going to mean that people are less likely to want to be involved in co-production. And I think that would be a huge loss.